guys, it's Carly with a short engagement back with another weekly check-in video. Um, this week I am wearing some of my stackables from Kalo. Not sponsored, but Kalo, if you want to sponsor, I'll at your girl. So I, I did want to touch base though a little bit more in depth about um, just some tips and tricks for finding and ordering a wedding dress in six months or less. Um, it is somewhat challenging and it's something that I found to be a little bit intimidating personally when I was going through the wedding process, um, the wedding planning process myself. So I mentioned before, but in case you haven't seen any of our other um, very professional videos, Taylor and I planned our wedding in four and a half months. We got married in 2013. During that time, I, I actually started, I don't even know if I should say this, but I'm saying it. Um, I'd actually started looking at wedding dresses before Taylor even proposed, and I'm not saying that I necessarily recommend doing that. And it's, rings. Can you not interrupt? Yeah, and rings. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> I don't need the peanut gun. Um, I want this one that's $10,000. Okay. You just made me totally lo lose my train of thought. I actually did do a little bit of advance looking um, for wedding gowns before Taylor proposed and that's purely because we had already you know talked about getting engaged and I had a feeling that it was coming although I didn't know exactly when um, so I borrowed my mom's wedding ring and we went and looked at it at a couple of stores just a little bit um, before I got engaged. Didn't end up buying any of those dresses, but it, it did kind of help me get a feel for what I did or I didn't want for our beach wedding. Um, anyway, that's sort of beside the point. <laughs> when I did get engaged and I, I started going officially to bridal shops, um, I thought that what I was going to want was a, a mermaid style gown. And I tried on a lot of those at first. Um, and when I say a lot, guys, I crammed I want to say five or six um, visits to different bridal shops into a 24 hour time period and I just looked 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 and then made a decision um, part of that is my personality like when I see something that I like and I, I know I like it I'm ready to go for it I don't need to do endless comparison you know shopping it's probably a good thing for Taylor because I knew what I wanted and I just went with it no more dating required but I was intentional about using my time well just because you know, we were engaged for four and a half months and typically wedding gowns do take about six months to order. Um, and that that's something that's gonna be pretty standard if you're shopping at, you know, higher end um, bridal salon. Um, basically everywhere I went up until David's bridal, which I will get to, um, had this kind of six month time frame that they said that they needed in order to place an order for a gown. Some of them would be coming in from overseas and um, you know, they maybe just didn't have the size available or in stock that I needed. So keep that in mind and start looking pretty early in the planning process. Um, before you even step foot into a bridal salon, I do recommend spending a little bit of time on Pinterest to get an idea of maybe, you know, three-ish styles that you would like to try on. Um, and that's not to say that you shouldn't go in with an open mind, but this will give you a great starting point. You know, if you can hand the consultant, you know, three images and say, these are some of the styles I, I think I like, um, I'd like to start here. That will help your appointment kind of keep moving quickly. Now back to that six month ordering time frame. Don't let that intimidate you because many times the salons will be able to offer you um, the opportunity to pay a rush fee. Woohoo! in order to get your dress a little bit quicker. Um, if, if you fall in love with a gown, I think that there will be a way to make it happen. Okay, so maybe you don't wanna pay a rush fee, um, or maybe, yeah, you're just, you're just not crazy about the idea of like ordering this gown. Um, another option is to ask if the salon has any samples, um, floor samples that they're willing to sell you. Um, now, actually, you should keep your eyes peeled because as I'm sure you've seen maybe on Say Yes to the Dress, even major salons like Kleinfeld's in New York will occasionally do um, what's called a sample sale where they will kind of clear house um, and get rid of maybe designs that are a couple years, you know, older but still beautiful and in good condition. Um, they probably have been tried on before by other brides because 
a floor model is what um, you know clients will use to just get a feel for their gown and then they'll typically order a fresh one again that might be coming in from overseas or elsewhere um, but by getting a floor sample you are able to take that dress home immediately now it may not be in your size but if you're able to take it home right at the beginning of your engagement you'll have plenty of time to get it altered hemmed steamed professionally laundered and just really custom fit and custom tailored to you um, I do know of several brides including some who are featured in our book how to plan your wedding in six months or less who went with this option and they were really happy with the gown that they ended up taking home so um, you know step number one ask if you can pay a rush fee step number two ask if the salon has a sample sale coming up or if they're not having you know a sample sale per se that's open to the general public ask if they would be open to selling you one of the samples on the floor they just might be and step number three is I would really recommend stepping into David's Bridal and taking a look at some of the lines that they have there. Guys, this is not sponsored. I, you, This is a recurring thing. Nothing is sponsored. <laughs> I would love for things to be sponsored in the future, um, but this isn't sponsored. This is just all based on my personal experience. I actually did buy my gown at David's Bridal. Um, nothing against David's Bridal. I think I had had in my mind that it might look cheap just being totally honest. Um, but when I went in, I was blown away by the selection that they had. Um, the gown that I ended up purchasing was the White by Vera Wang line, and it looks so high-end. Guys, I think my dress costs like maybe $600, which is incredible. I mean, when he, I, I, did a, I competed in pageants just for like this long in my life, my pageant gown was more than that like I was blown away um, I felt that it was a great deal so you know this is just something that I felt personally but a wedding is an event that is over and done within 24 hours really it's not even 24 hours right it's like maybe four <laughs> and so you're really not going to be wearing your gown that long um, I do think a wedding gown is really special I think that you should love it uh, I think you should feel like you in it I think you should feel comfortable in it but I don't think that you have to spend ten to twenty thousand dollars on a gown that you're only going to wear one time. Um, if you want to, that is totally up to you. My personal feeling was just that I knew that we had, you know, guests to feed and catering bills to pay, and I wanted, you know, to have a great DJ. And there were just other priorities that I felt were um, more worthwhile of our investment than my gown. So I did end up going with a, a very budget friendly dress from David's Bridal that I really loved. Um, I really felt like myself in it. I felt that the material was a great quality. Um, I was able to get it in plenty of time for my wedding. So that made me feel really comfortable. You know, there was, there was no rush fee. There was no worrying if it would get in on time. I had time to take it, you know, to the tailor. I had time to get it steamed. And so David's Bridal, you know, don't turn your nose up at it. I'll just say that. I think give it a chance. Of course, um, one last option is to rent a gown or to borrow a gown. Um, also, a big trend right now is to take, you know, your mom or even your grandmother's gown. And if you don't fully use that gown in its exact, you know, 80s form to use part of the lace um, and incorporate that into your own dress. So maybe have something custom tailored for you. Check into your hometown to see if there's any really um, high-end tailors or designers who would be willing to make you a gown and maybe incorporate an heirloom material. That can be something really, really special. Um, and then again, renting a dress is always an option and so is borrowing from a friend. I mean, why not? Something borrowed is definitely a wedding day tradition. Speaking of traditions, I really do appreciate following traditions. Um, I appreciate etiquette very much. But I'm also really all about doing what is right for you and what's right for you and your fiance and what's right for your budget. So don't feel like you have to do your wedding like everybody else does it. You know, um, if you want to rent a gown, do it. Um, don't worry about, you know, trying to make your wedding planning process fit into some mold um, or do things exactly like everybody else does it. This is y'all's wedding day and it should be a reflection of you and your priorities and your budgeting preferences and all that good stuff. So step into this process with confidence, um, enjoy it. Don't get too caught up in Pinterest 
and um, be prepared to pay a rush fee. Just take it from me.